Do you see how partisan you're being? Do you see who's surrounded by law enforcement who made a bigger scene than I did and is not being escorted out? Where is the line between free speech and a public disturbance? That is the very question the ACLU asked the Otero County Commission when it approached with a potential lawsuit stemming from that argument you just heard. Spencer Schott spoke to the man who was escorted out of the commission chambers by the sheriff. So Spencer, uh, I mean, was this the first time something like this happened with him? Well, Tessa, this was actually the third time. Matt Carsilius says he's been kicked out before for speaking out against proposed book bans and for sharing other opinions that most would consider liberal. Now he's getting tens of thousands of dollars from the county. According to the ACLU, there were multiple occasions where El Magordo resident Matt Cresilius was illegally silenced by the Otero County Commission. There's a longstanding thing in, here in Otero County of, of kind of a repressing um, freedom of speech when it comes to differing opinions. The most recent example came from November's commissioner meeting when an uproar started after former county commissioner Coy Griffin was speaking during public comment. Looking up here at you, Stephanie, in this seat is a total disgrace. Yeah. And this led to a loud back and forth between commissioners disgrace. and the crowd. I have I made my point? Abused What's the I, in public. Until the chair of the commission, Vicki Marquand, yes. asked for everyone to leave the chambers. Listen, Around District 2 to try to get me removed from office. Oh, I can't, I can't speak. Yeah, you can't. After a short break, the meeting was called back to order and Griffin was allowed to continue to speak. But after Griffin's comments, the sheriff approached Matt Cresilius, who was sitting in the back of the room, telling him to stop being disruptive. Sheriff, would you, would you like to remove Matt? That's your, your choice. Yes, I, I think you need to go outside and cool off for a little bit, Matt. Incredibly important that politicians don't abuse their power to silence views that they don't like. And that's exactly what happened with Mr. Cresilius here. Smith says this incident, paired with other times the commissioner has had Cresilius removed, are blatant violations of the Constitution. In a democracy, people have to be free to express their fears, their, their views, without any kind of fear of retaliation. And the Otero County Commissioners really violated this vi this basic principle of democracy. Smith and the ACLU approached the Otero County Commission with a lawsuit, but it was ultimately settled out of court, and the commission agreed to pay Cresilius $45,000. Relief, um, validation, vindication. Um, it, it's, it's a way forward. Um, all the great work that organizations like the ACLU are doing and everything else, holding organizations and, and government entities and individuals accountable um, so we can, you know, have uh, a voice. Now, Smith adds this settlement sends an important message to all government officials that people have a right to participate in government and express their views, even if they disagree. Spencer, thank you.